Hi, this is Abhi and welcome to Abhi's Food for Thought. Today, we'll be making Poorana Kurikattais, which are also called Modaks. These are steamed sweet dumplings made using rice dough and a delicious coconut jaggery filling. But instead of using rice flour, we'll be making a batter out of soaked rice and cooking it to prepare the outer layer. I like to make these Poorana Kurikattais small and bite-sized with a thin layer of the outer dough and lots of filling inside. And at the same time, the outer layer should be soft, smooth, shiny and it shouldn't crack and ooze out the juices. That's the way I like it and I'll be showing how to do that. Without further ado, let's get started. Let me first walk you through the ingredients that are needed to prepare the Purna Kolkatais. To make the Kolkatai dough, I've taken half cup of raw rice. I had washed and soaked the raw rice in water for one hour and drained the water completely from it. We'll be using one cup of water for half a cup of raw rice. You can use the leftover water from soaking too. So the ratio of raw rice to water is 1 to 2. A pinch of salt. 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. And sesame oil to grease our palms while shaping the kolkatais. These are the ingredients needed for the outer layer. And here I have the ingredients for the Puranam filling. I have taken half a cup of freshly grated coconut. Try to grate only the white part of the coconut. And for sweetness, I'll be using quarter cup of tightly packed jaggery that I've cut into small pieces. Two green cardamoms. I'll be freshly crushing the seeds and adding it to the filling. And around one tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. If you take this quantity, half of the rice dough will be left over in the end which you can use to prepare other varieties of kolkatais. But if you are going to be making only these sweet purna kolkatais, then either half the dough ingredients or double the filling ingredients. Let's first prepare a batter to make the kolkatai dough. In a blender jar, add the half cup of soaked raw rice and just a little bit from the one cup of water. Do not add all the water while grinding as the rice may not grind properly then and grind the soaked rice into a smooth and fine paste like so. Pour the rice batter in a heavy bottomed pan and add the remaining water that we had measured. I am adding the water to the blender jar to get all the batter stuck to it and then pouring it in the pan. Add a pinch of salt and 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. And we'll now cook this rice batter. Place the pan on low heat and keep stirring the batter continuously till it thickens. It will take around 5 minutes. Don't worry about any lumps at this point, but keep stirring it continuously. Once it thickens like this and doesn't stick to our fingers, turn off the heat. Cover with the lid and let it sit covered for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's prepare the Puranam filling. We'll first dissolve the jaggery and filter it to remove any dust. In a heavy bottomed vessel, add the quarter cup of jaggery that we had cut into small pieces. Add very little water, not too much. This is only to dissolve the jaggery and heat it till all the jaggery dissolves. There's no need to worry about any syrup consistency. Once the jaggery dissolves, take a heavy bottomed pan and filter the jaggery syrup in it. Place this pan on low heat and bring the filtered jaggery syrup to a boil. Then add the half a cup of freshly grated coconut and keep stirring it till it thickens. Then add the freshly crushed cardamom and 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. Mix it well. Turn off the heat and allow this Purnam filling to cool. Once the Purnam cools, it will thicken some more like so. I like to divide the Purnam into smaller portions as it makes the stuffing part less messy. I have divided it into around 32 tiny balls today so that I can steam 16 kolkatais in 2 idli plates. Let's check on the kolkatai dough. Once it is warm enough to handle, knead it well like this for at least 5 minutes. 
This will help remove any lumps and make the dough smooth and soft. Keep the dough covered to prevent it from drying. To shape the kolkataise, take a little bit of the dough after greasing your palms with sesame oil and make a smooth and small ball of the dough, roughly about the same size as the Purnam ball. Then press using your thumbs on one side and other fingers on the other side to flatten the dough like a small cup. Place the Purnam filling inside and seal it. Traditionally, a tiny nose is pinched on the top. Let me show one more. Repeat the same process till you run out of the Purnam filling. I was able to shape around 32 small bite-sized Purna Kolkatais. And as I said earlier, Half of the rice dough is left over which you can use to make other varieties of kolkatais. Or you could just roll the remaining dough into small pearls like this, steam them and add a simple tempering and grated coconut to make plain amini kolkatais. Or you can mix idli chilli powder with the dough and make hot and spicy amini kolkatais. Place the purna kolkatais on greased idli plates and steam them for 10 to 12 minutes in a idli steamer or kadai. And allow the kolkatais to slightly cool before removing and serving. The steamed purna kolkatais with a soft rice dough outside and delicious coconut jaggery filling inside are ready to be served. Let me taste the purna kolkatais. One kolkatai in one bite. No one can eat just one as it's so delicious. The outer layer is so soft and shiny and the simple coconut jaggery filling with the flavor of cardamom is so tasty. Also, the amount of rice dough and puranam filling in each kolkatai is just perfect. These kolkatais are like tiny parcels of sweet coconut and they are so soft, shiny, sweet, chewy and juicy. So do give these a try. Let me end this video with a thought. Today we made purana kolkatais. The word puranam or purana means complete. And the delicious coconut jaggery filling does exactly that. It is the stuff that is inside that makes the kolkatais complete and whole. But when it comes to us, we might keep looking for things outside to complete us. But maybe what completes us is already within us like the Purna kolkatais that we made today. And instead of looking for it outside, maybe we should look within and try to complete ourselves. And worst case, nothing completes us then maybe some things are better left incomplete. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you again with another recipe.